Okay guys, it's me, Midsummer, and I am here with my first speed build. And um, here I am not building a house, this is kind of like a little, I guess, for me personally, this is like too big for a two-story house. I just, I just feel that way. Um, we are making a cafe slash bar, because in this sim, Three, um, in The Sims 4, you can like restart retail stores and all that stuff. But in The Sims 3, you can make a bar and then use it as like a cafe too. Because you can have like fridges and stuff. So, this lot is it's a bar. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it's labeled as because you can't like make an actual cafe. But it's like a cafe designed bar, basically. And this custom content pathway was glitching out. And that's not what it was supposed to actually look like. Or just, I, um, it was glitching out, but that's why you saw orange flowers. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say I will probably not be uploading a video on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because I am traveling. I'm going to North Carolina and I'm leaving. I'm leaving on Friday, which you're either seeing this on Friday or Saturday. And yeah, I'm going to North Carolina. So it's gonna be some fun. If you wanna check out my vlogs that I will be doing in North Carolina, you can check out my other channel, which is my beauty channel. It'll be linked down below in the description. It's makeup free. So yeah, you can just check that out. And um this build will be a let's build series, so this is the, going to be the first part in the series, and um, I will probably make the next part. I'll, I might make it in speed motion, and then, but I, I do know some parts will be live, live, and then some part, some some parts will be sped up. <laughs> so um, yeah, but. It's probably going to be pretty fun. I built this a while back. Um, and I had the, I definitely had the image in my head of what I wanted it to be, but now I don't really remember anymore. Cause it was, it was kind of a long time ago when I built it. So I might change up a few things. Um, I, I do like how it is right now though. So basically what I'm doing right here is I'm just finishing up with some of the final touches for the landscaping and I did, I basically just did the flooring, I'm doing the trees and um, I'm doing all that sorts of stuff but I will be working on like wallpapers and doors and windows and I'll, and I think I already have a roof on there I'm not positive though but if I don't I'll be working on the roof so in the next part there will be cosmetic stuff and in this part it was basically just all the outside stuff and landscaping and um, also that little part that is like right there that I had trees in that tree in um, that was like a little, it's like a little inside, um, as you can see I'm putting, I'm putting glass on it, and it's like an inside, um, I got this idea from, well, I mean, like, it's been, a lot of people have had this idea, but, um, I, when I built this, I was recently watching Deli Gracie's um, hospital speed build and um, I was watching the part where she was doing that 
um, the inside um, garden area through the glass, and I thought that was a magnificent idea, and so I decided to do it myself, and I think it turns out pretty good in the end. We, I might do, I don't really remember what I do in this video, but um, in the next part, I will just be switching up anything that I think that I just don't like anymore, or that I could have done better. And I think when I was actually building this, I didn't really like the columns. I never, and I guess I forgot to tell her that one. Um, I never was really into the columns. Um, I'm just not that big of a fan of them, and I think I did that to cover up the parts of glass that weren't covered up, the little edges, I mean, the parts of wall, the little edges of wall on the side. So I'm, I might change those, I don't really know what they do. And um, also, I wanted a bright wall paper color for just, just like on some accent walls. So that's the color that I was going for, but I think I might end up changing that in the end. So for the bathroom walls, it took me forever to get the color right. I ended up just sketching that because like, I wanted that like color, as you can see in the other stall next to it. I wanted that like one beige color because I thought it would work, work good with the, like, the, I guess, not really bland, but I didn't want to do, like, crazy bright walls, so I just didn't know what to do, and in the end, I ended up changing the full color. And I'm, I'm not really that fond of the bathroom stuff, but it works, I might change it, but I'm not very sure. So right here you can see I was doing fountain. I thought that big fountain was like awesomely elaborate and everything, but I don't think it <laughs> I don't think it would have fit that well in that area, so I did end up changing it. Um I would have liked it to be like super big and elaborate. Um and I might actually like change the size of it because I want it to be a super big fountain and be like calling everybody's name. And one time I actually want to make it like a, it'd be like on a 64 by 64 lot, and it'd be like a shopping town center. It will be so cool, and so I'd like to make that sometime. And um, I guess I do some of the doors, I'm not sure if I actually put a door in this part. Um, but we are getting to the end of it. And I'm just going to wrap up my voiceover here and just let you guys watch. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.